Hello folks, my name is David Matherson. Some prototype American GM and Ford cars before release are first driven and developed on Australian roads because the roads in Australia are full of potholes which show the weak spots in the suspension configuration system over a short space of time. In addition, during the summer time in Australia, which is from December to February, the American car testers drive past the Great Dividing Range, which has summer temperatures on average of between 45 to 50 degrees Celsius or 113 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit for us Americans. By driving the prototype cars in such hot temperatures shows problems with the cooling systems of the newly developed engines, which the engineers must get right before releasing the cars on American roads. In Australia, it gets that hot, you can actually cook both eggs and steak on the hood of your car in the middle of a summer day and you don't even have to use a frying pan. Another problem with the Australian heat during summer time is that it warps the railway tracks, so on a hot day, the train drivers, who on average are paid a salary of between 150 to 250,000 a year, have to slow the trains down when going through bends. Otherwise, the trains will come off the tracks and kill hundreds of people. One other problem with Australia are the eucalyptus trees, which are full of eucalyptus oil. On a hot summer day, these trees can actually explode like a bomb, which can start wildfires, and the dust on the power lines can also spark and start additional wildfires which can be thousands of acres in size and burn hundreds of millions of acres over time. These wildfires can burn for weeks or even months and they have weather patterns of their own which includes fire tornadoes. Australian wildfires travel at a speed of 80 miles per hour and you cannot outrun them in a car because the heat will make the car engine stop and tires melt, which is why they find so many cars on highways with the owners reduced to dust after a wildfire has moved through. Does anyone want to live in Australia during the summertime and live on a farm near the woods? I don't think so. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.